family and welcome back to my youtube channel welcome welcome guys back if you are new welcome where we talk about all things health well-being and then some more okay and if you are returning thank you guys for coming back it is vlogmas it is december i am still here doing it guys i have not quit i may have missed one day or two but trust and believe i have not quit okay i have family to tend to so you guys already know health is wealth and family comes first okay but anyway guys as you guys know if you know i've got my lovely new juicer right there and i've got to make myself some fresh jars of juices not just for myself but you know for those around me so today i've made some freshly apple juice if you watch my previous videos you will have seen me at little or is it Aldi? Aldi buying these big chunky apples. And today is the day that I've juiced them. And like I said to you guys, I will always show you guys what I do buy and how I make it. And today's no difference. And after my apple juice, I've literally made some pear, kiwi and mint. I absolutely love juicing mint. The freshness of the mint and the lime is absolutely, mm, the smell alone will just wake up your senses but yes guys so i'm just making juices right now so this does take a bit of time so about an hour or so just you know to juice with love and all of that so yeah so i'm making fresh juices so i've got my apple simple just apple juice and then this is kind of like a multivitamin so if you don't have a juicer juicer guys don't worry eat the apple eat the fruit as it is because you'll get the benefit of the fiber compared to when you take the fiber out of the juice but anyway guys i'm just spending my time juicing and i'm gonna move on to the cooking now yes so guys i have literally i spend time chopping all my onion garlic and all of that and i marinated chicken chicken is easy going don't take long to cook and you don't even have to marinate this overnight but i like marinating stuff overnight so i've basically put some ginger garlic salt pepper and some thyme there and sage you know what i'm saying and then i left it overnight to marinate so you can get the full flavor and i did add all purpose seasoning in this mix and some oil you know just to like oh yes all together into one so right about now this is going to go in the oven guys so i'm just going to lightly um pan fry it because i just want it to have that just want to take the um you know sometimes when you buy the chicken and it's a bit too there's too much liquid so i just want to dry it out a bit before i put it in the oven because i don't want it i don't want it to go in the oven and all the liquid comes out i just want the liquid to kind of come out a bit from the pan and then i'm going to place it in the oven but as you guys can see look at that it's looking amazing without it even being fully cooked unfortunately i actually funny enough guys funny story i don't eat meat and i don't mind cooking um meat for you know my loved ones and all of that goodness i don't mind you know uh but i actually can't taste it i didn't taste the the only thing that i tried is the mix on its own to see um the salt level but in terms of tasting if it's good or not i don't know so when i cook i literally blind cook things because i can't taste anything uh, and um but this is how it's going it's going in the oven and look at all that juice you see that i'm just gonna pour that over pour it over with love i tell you the smell smelled so fresh that let me know that it's going to be even better when it tastes so guys even if you don't eat chicken or you can use this marinated mix pretty much on any other meat okay so this is how it turned out so good and they loved it they absolutely said it was delicious but now i'm going to top it up with rice so i'm using golden satanas so i've made some yellow rice so basically turmeric okay i've used turmeric for the rice um and i've cooked it and i left it to the side and all i'm going to do now is i'm just going to um you know grill some onion with peppers and a bit of ginger a bit of garlic 
and I'm just going to mix it all together and then I'm going to lich yeah mix it all together with that onion and the um sultanas it just add the sultanas guys if you know you know if you don't know now you know it adds like a sweet um taste when you eat the rice it's got like a oh what's that you know it's like a special ingredient to add every now and again um when you when you're making rice um especially if you're making rice that's got onions and mixed peppers it just adds a bit of like mm, what's that little crunch that little sweetness that I'm, I'm i'm tasting in my mouth if you don't like the sultanas if you don't like dry raisin and and all of that you don't have to add it it's just like a uh, special you know ingredient that i like to just add in every now and again when i'm making rice especially if i'm making this type of rice but yeah so i'm just kind of grilling everything right now just cooking it up and then i'm gonna pour um the rice over and then just mix it the rice is already cooked and what i did with the rice guys all i did was plain rice you know rinse it out uh, put your water and then I just add two teaspoons of turmeric powder uh, with a bit of salt and oil you know that's all I did turmeric powder to give it that yellow vibrant color so the reason being some turmeric is very very good for you and sometimes I struggle to find ways to consume it so I'm always trying to find different ways to consume you know ingredients so one way I've discovered making yellow rice is oh why not add my see i'm adding the raisin now so that's just gonna all get mixed up in there washed it and then add it up so yes guys so there's always i'm always trying to find different ways to kind of consume um beneficial ingredients that are really really good for you um so turmeric rice i'm like okay not bad quite liked it but it's got very strong earthy taste so if you don't want that taste and you want to cover it up this is one of the ways that you can cover it up by just you know making that extra sauce and then pouring the rice over or just using less turmeric because it's very um i use two teaspoons but you don't have to you can just use one um depending on the quantity of your rice but yes guys so everything's just kind of grilling up now and i'm gonna add my rice shortly and then we're gonna move on to the next thing so let's um add the rice in a bit but yes i hope you guys so far are enjoying the videos don't forget to comment like share subscribe if you are new to my channel welcome to the family so yeah so all i do the rice is cooked i haven't overcooked it it's just nice and fluffy and you don't want to overcook your rice because when you mix it in here you, you know you're still adding more heat to it so all i do now is i literally just mix everything break it down a bit and then just kind of mix it or at this point you don't even need the heat on you, you can literally switch the heat off and then just kind of blend and mix everything together um if you want to do it that way or you just keep it on low heat and it's just basically blending all the onions and the <laughs> 